So juicers, did you know that some elements on the periodic table have what's basically a team name? My favorite one of these is the noble gases. These are the elements in group 18 on the periodic table, and they're pretty different from most other elements. The noble gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. What makes them so special is that the noble gases are chemically inert, which means they don't react with other elements and don't form bonds. Under normal conditions, they are all odorless, tasteless, and colorless gases. The gases work the way that they do because of how their electrons are arranged, or more specifically, how their outermost electrons are arranged. See, electrons are arranged in shells around the nuclei of atoms, and the outermost shell contains what are called valence electrons. These are the electrons that react with other elements. The outer shell can hold different numbers of electrons, but not all elements fully fill the shell. These missing slots in the valence electrons give room for elements to react and arrange themselves. The noble gases are the elements that naturally have a completely full outer shell, so they almost never react. The noble gases are also extremely stable, with radon being the only one that decays through radioactivity. They have many uses in chemistry and industry. Argon is used in both welding and for filling incandescent light bulbs to stop oxidization of hot metals. Helium is very buoyant, and its inertness lets us safely use large amounts of it, unlike hydrogen, which is extremely flammable. And neon famously has uses in lighting. So next time you grab a balloon or pass by a lit up sign, think about how something as small as a couple electrons affect the materials that we interact with every day. And that's the juice.